like and subscribe. Hi, good morning boys and girls. Welcome to Saturday School. I am so excited because today we have a very special topic we will be talking about. Does anyone know what next week is? Do you know what next week is? It's on a Thursday. If you do not know what it is, it is Thanksgiving. Yes, Thanksgiving is next week and this episode, this video is going to be geared towards all of thanks. Give me thanks to Jesus. So I want you to stand with me as we worship and we open our mouths unto the Lord and we just say, God, thank you. So I want you to close your eyes and I want you to raise your hands nice and high, nice and high. Don't be afraid to raise your hands to the Lord and let's praise the Lord. Dear God, we thank you for this day. We are so thankful that we get a chance to thank you for everything that you have done. I ask that today would be a day that we are able to recognize all the things that you have done for us. But Lord, let today also be a reminder that it just doesn't have to be on Thanksgiving that we can give thanks, but that throughout the whole year, we can give thanks unto you. I ask that you would be with my friends. In Jesus' name, amen. So I want you to get excited because we have a special song for you. And we also have a really good game so you can play with at the dinner table on Thanksgiving. So stay tuned because I want to announce it to you because it's going to be a really, really fun game that you can play with your family. All right, stay standing so we can worship the Lord and give thanks. To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise And I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to remember everything That the Lord has done I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to be I want to be I want to be I like to think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands and say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in when you just give your all to him and and just forget about everything and just lifting your hands and and singing even though you don't know the words Jesus is so happy that you are standing and that you are raising your hands so at this time we are going to do something a little different so I want you to stay tuned I want you to continue to focus because we are going to watch a video about giving thanks Jesus lived a life that was filled with thanksgiving. His thankful heart came from a deep love for and trust in his Father. In fact, they were so close, when seeing Jesus, it was like seeing the Father. You could hear the Father 
in Jesus' words and feel the Father in Jesus' heart. Jesus never doubted his Father's love and committed his life to the mission of saving the world. Through good times and bad, Jesus always responded to his Father by giving thanks. Even when religious leaders or people from his hometown were jealous and wouldn't listen to him, Jesus was filled with thankfulness to God. I thank you, Father, he prayed, that you hide these wonderful things from those who think they are wise and show them to little children instead. The people who were mean to Jesus couldn't see the goodness and love of his Father but he rejoiced that God made his plan of salvation known to people of every age who had childlike faith and were excited to learn about God. Jesus would take away their burdens and give them rest. Even when he faced the impossible, Jesus was still thankful. One day he was very tired and needed to be alone but a huge crowd followed him to his quiet spot. Instead of sending them away, he continued to teach them about his father. The people were tired and hungry, and the only food anyone could find were five loaves of bread and two fish. There was no way that small amount of food could feed so many, but Jesus gave thanks to God anyway. That's when a miracle happened. Somehow that small lunch fed the crowd of more than 5,000 people with 12 baskets of food left over. Jesus never stopped thanking his father, even after his dear friend Lazarus died. When he finally arrived at the home of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus, everyone was very sad. Even Jesus started to cry. But he knew what no one else knew. God was about to do something amazing, and Jesus would be shown to be the resurrection and the life. Jesus lifted his head toward heaven and thanked his Father in a voice loud enough for everyone to hear. Then, with the words, Lazarus, come forth, the man who had been dead for days walked out of the tomb alive again. Even leading up to his own death, Jesus trusted his Father and thanked him for his salvation plan. At the very last supper he would enjoy with his disciples, he held up the cup that represented his blood and the bread that represented his broken body, and he thanked his Father. Please take this, he said to his disciples, because my body will be broken and my blood will be shed to forgive the sins of many. After Jesus died and rose from the dead, his story continued to be told. The Apostle Paul wrote pages and pages to the church, reminding them of the Father's love, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the friendship that is now possible between God and humans. Even the sorrows and difficulties in life could not be compared to the glory of this amazing gift of salvation. Give thanks in all things, he wrote, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Wasn't that lesson so awesome? That video reminds us that we need to be so thankful for the plan of salvation. We need to be so thankful that God came and gave himself to us so that we can be set free, right? Isn't that exciting that we can give God thanks for something so big? We don't even have to pay for it. All we have to do is ask and he gives it to us. All right, at this time, we are going to hear a message from our favorite friend, Douglas. So stay tuned and make sure you're writing your notes. Happy Thanksgiving. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And Thanksgiving is one of my very most favorite holidays. Yeah, it's awesome because, you know, you get to be with family and friends and there's all this delicious food and you spend a whole day thinking about all the things that you are thankful for. 
and there's a lot of things to be thankful for. But my least favorite thing about Thanksgiving is we always we always go around the table and everybody has to say what they're thankful for this year. And every time it comes to me, I'm always drawing a blank. I can never think of what to say. And it's not like I'm scared to talk to my family. You know, they're my family. I talk to them all the time. And it's not also not like I don't have things that I'm thankful for. I, I know I've got lots of things to be thankful for. I just can never think of them in the moment. And I was thinking about that. I was like, you know, why is it so difficult for me to say what I'm thankful for? Well, I'm pretty sure that the reason is because I'm out of practice. You know, the Bible says that we should rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances. Basically, that's saying that, that you know, how on Thanksgiving we spend that day to remember what we're thankful for. That verse is pretty much saying that we should do that all the time. It should be a part of our daily lives to thank God for all the things that he has done for us. Like all the time, every day. Anytime you notice something that God has done for you, thank him for it. It doesn't have to be out loud. God can hear you even if you don't talk out loud. But even just in your head, say, God, thank you for my friends. I had a really good day today. Or even little things like if you're eating a delicious Twinkie, you can say, Lord God, thank you for Twinkies. And please help me not to eat this whole box. And here's the thing, if we start thanking God for everything that we see, everything that we're grateful for, right when we're grateful for it, and we start looking for things that God has done for us, and we can rejoice and thank God for those things, I'll bet you'd be surprised at how many things you and I have to be grateful for. And I know it kind of sounds like a chore to be like, oh, I just got to thank God all the time, thank Him for this, and thank Him for that all the time, all the time, all the time. It's not really a chore at all. You know, the next part of the verse where it says, you know, rejoice always pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances. The next part, it says, For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. God isn't like demanding that we give thanks all the time for him because he needs us to thank him. God wants us to give thanks all the time because he knows that it's good for us. You know that great feeling that you have on Thanksgiving? where You're sitting back and you're thinking about all the awesome things God's done for you. You can have that feeling every day. It can be Thanksgiving every day. Day. I don't care what if it's in the spring or the summer or what. Every day can be Thanksgiving because we can give thanks every day. And I'll bet that if you're thankful every day and you talk to God about what you're grateful for, then when it comes time for you to say your favorite thing that you are thankful for this year at Thanksgiving, you'll totally have an answer. Easy peasy. And so my challenge to you guys today is that you would give thanks every day. That you would rejoice always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances. Not just so that you can have something to say at Thanksgiving dinner, but so that you could live in the fullness of the awesome life that God has called you to. Thank you so much, Douglas. You have the awesome stories, but I am definitely going to remember that throughout this whole week, I'm going to remind myself, what am I thankful for? So thank you so much for that challenge. So before we end, I have a very important game that you can play with your family on Thanksgiving Day. So all you will need is a bag of M&Ms. Make sure it is the brown bag. And from our LOV Children's website, you can print up this. And don't worry, if you don't have a printer, you can make just little circles with this on it you can write it up um, if you can see it it is a Thanksgiving gratitude game so this game is played on Thanksgiving Day and most of the time when you're at Thanksgiving or the dinner table everyone goes around and they'll say what they're thankful for well this game is a little fun so I already put my M&Ms inside I already put them inside so Sister Bradley is going to pull some a, na um, a color and let's see what I get. I got blue. So then we'll go to our chart and it says name a skill you are grateful for. Hmm, that's a good one. So I think the one that I really am thankful for is um, teaching. I really, really love to teach. I have so much fun and I like to do fun games and I like to bring it to your level so that you are able to understand. But I am very grateful and thankful for that skill. So I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome, awesome Thanksgiving. And I'm so excited because 
the following week, we are going to be learning about the full armor of God. So in the next six weeks, we are going to be studying the armor of God. So I want you to get prepared and I want you to get um, ready for that because you are going to be equipped with the full armor of God. God bless. See you guys next week.